Greetings friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're talking about closure, which is the ability for a function to use variables not defined in its own local scope. Let's have a look at an example. So if I create a function here called uh, tipcalc, which is gonna take a bill in, a total bill. Now we'll declare a variable here, tip, and just hard code it to five, so we're always gonna have five as a tip. And from our function, we're gonna return another function, just an anonymous function, and this will just do the calculation. So it will, it will return uh, the bill plus the tip. Um, but notice inside our anonymous function here, we're not declaring any local variables. We're not declaring tip, we're not declaring bill, and this standalone function is what we're gonna be calling in a minute. So, you know, if we create a reference to that function, which tip calc will return for us. So say we call tip calc with a value of 50. So the bill is 50, uh, the tip is five. What value will we get back? Let's have a look. So if I call total now and look at the value. So we're getting 55 back, even though the function that we're calling, this total refers to simply this function here, which hasn't declared tip or bill, and we're calling it standalone via total. This total is just a reference to this function because tip calc returns it. So that is what closure is providing for us. Even though we're calling this function separately, it's still able to access this tip in the outer scope and also the bill in the, um, the function outer scope as well. Um, so that is what closure does for us. Hope you enjoyed that video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Feel free to click that subscribe button if you wanna see some more of these videos. And thanks very much for watching. Bye.